All right. Try and vi uh, to film a little differently. We'll see how this turns out. Um, we're working on a small canvas today. This is five by five. It's a slick canvas that um, is that a gesso board that had a slick white surface. And I'm experimenting with black. And um, just took my really uh, generic, with you know, deco art, art Americana. It covers really well, and it's smooth, and um, when I painted it, I just squirted some black on here, smeared it around with a brush, and then um, I laid my paper towel just very, very lightly, tapped it, pulled it up, and it gave it just a little bit of texture, and, and that way I didn't see the brush strokes as much. So, and um, I like to tape, I've got all this taped together just so it's high enough that Y'all learn in a valley. And um, I'm going to experiment and see I, what what this is going to do. I don't, <laughs> I really don't know what to expect. But I want to paint as though I was on the coast and this beautiful sunset was bearing down. And to see how, how quickly I can capture a feel might not be an exact... Um, but this photo right here is um, from Connie Gibson. Thank you, Connie. And um, it's not on a ocean front or anything, but there is some water uh, down below. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is obviously mix some colors. And there's my palette knife. Um, I have some purples. I'm going to add a little white to the purple. Because it's was too intense, too dark of a value. So, let's see if y'all can even see the white. Oh, yeah, you can. Okay. All right. We'll see. This may or may not. <laughs> <laughs> Might be, you know, because I'm not used to painting also flat. And this, uh, this is alizarin, and I'm not sure. I might have to pull out another pink, uh, red to mix because usually a alizarin can give me a nice pink but I might well that's not bad I'll go with that mm -hmm. that's all right and then I can do some more of that and whoop I didn't want that but I also want to add some orange to it because there's a lot of fiery red orange maybe a little bit of both of those and that'll intensify it make it a little hotter, so to speak. And then I have the orange already. I want, oh, I did not put this in the freezer, so that's a little stiff. Okay, so my, I didn't wipe off my palette knife, but I just pulled some of the warmest yellow, which is the cad yellow, in with some of that. To me, it gives it a little, um, better orange than straight orange. I use I don't usually use that pure. I mix it with something. But I I would rather have it on my palette than not because it takes to, you know it just speeds things up. All right, so those colors right there are uh, very similar to what I have in the picture. I do want um, a, a, like a blue violet so I'm going to pick up a little bit of both of those blues. You still see it? Nope. There we go. A little bit of both of the blues. Because it, um, it lightens it by, you know, it lightens the ultramarine. And that's still a little too dark. So pull a little white in there. That's, I want it similar in value to this one. So uh, when I squint my eyes, if they all seem, if they both seem similar in value, then that's good right now. The blue's too light. Are y'all hot or is it me? I'm not. Okay. I'm it's me. I'll take my sweat. I'm running around. 
I'll I'll take this. Oh, yes. Can, well, that's going to be worse for you. Just push it down. That's perfect. Okay. <laughs> I'm kind of creating a wall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Time to shed the <laughs> shed, shed my, my layers. Okay. So, I'm not worried about the dark right now. The dark is the trees and the foliage because I'm going to try to use subtractive method to get the dark. So that's why I chose the black. I don't know if it'll work. So y'all might see an utter fail. So that's okay. There's no failures in art according mm -hmm. to Bob Ross. Well, there really isn't because you learn mm -hmm. from it. You know, if, mm -hmm. if, if it doesn't work out the way you intended, mm -hmm. you've learned something. Mm -hmm. And to me, when I can play, I, I have fun. You know, I'm a kid at heart, so mm -hmm. I'm all right you with that. that little book you bought, that nature one about scribbles and things yeah. like that. You could have written it. It is your voice the whole way through. <laughs> what is that, the activity book? Yes. Oh, did you order it? I I'm did. going to. I have it. What it's, is it? You, you missed last week. I'll have to share with you some of the things. Okay. That, yeah, it's on the video from... Yeah. Uh, I haven't watched yeah. last week's video. Yeah, it it's is. actually the Water video color. from the previous Watercolor. week, Watercolor. the week that you... W that we normally would have met that it rained, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah. Oh, it's the watercolor group. The watercolor yes. group, not the w the one with you did some flowers. Uh huh. I but it was the one yet. before that. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, that when I saw that, I went, yeah, it's it is it how is, I, I teach. Mean, when, he's, when he's talking, it's saying the same things that you say. Everybody can paint. You just have to let out your inner child. I mean, it was. Yeah. It was, she could have written that book and made the money off of it to tell you that. Oh, well. <laughs> it's okay. It's my it's really cute, though. My, he my phone He really is... prefers watercolor. I mean, he does some pencil work and stuff just for people who mm -hmm. he's trying to convince them to go back to when they were in ch children and crayoned or used colors or pencils and stuff. But his whole focus is getting towards the watercolor. Oh, sorry. sorry. Didn't mean to kick you. Um, I'm using a small brush because I have a small canvas. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, what I want to do on this is I normally with oils, I, you start with dark to light, but because I already have a lot of dark, I'm going to start, I'm going to lay where my lights are. So, I'm going to, and, and it also, I want to attempt to keep my colors pure. So I just picked up some of this yellow orange. I'm looking down in here where the the color of the yellow is, laying it on, you know, rather thick. And you cropped your photo to the square, didn't you? Since that's uh, that's what I'm gonna do. But okay. it's, the photo is actually um, it looks square from here. It's because the some of it's so dark. Okay. So. I wanted a little more light in here, but, but I'd be worked on black before, and black just helps pop colors. And um, so it's like, okay, well, if you put bright colors with the white background, that can also pop colors, make you know, you or get pure colors that way. But I thought, well, you know, let's let's see see how we can do the black, and then what will happen when we try to um, take away the the color. So I'm, I'm laying in the lighter tones. I'm gonna go now toward the more the orange ones. You're working on the sky, right? Oh, oh yeah, I'm, not, t I'm yeah. not even attempting any of the foliage. That's gonna be done with subtracted method, maybe. <laughs> are, do you, are you gonna have the lake in there, the mm -hmm. water? Yeah, just a little bit. Okay. See, there's not much of it, but it's yeah. not this bright color because, okay. um, but it's fun to do, you know, I mean, it's, it's, your, I'm just almost like paint by number. Is that a square brush? I mean, not a square. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. But again, you know, I've already established where the, the lights are, so, um, I'm just kind of filling in where where I see black on the canvas. And if I don't get it all, that I'm okay with that. I want some orange of the pinky tone, so I, that's well, that's not a bad pink at all. Considering I didn't have a magenta on the palette. I'm really 
surprised it's that bright. Really, just pat, 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 and mm -hmm. looks on. I mean, you could you could do you know bigger strokes, but I'm just looking at the texture of the clouds. They're just a uh, little bitty um, colors, kind of feather feathery. Fun. <laughs> now, I might totally ruin it when I start going for the trees. <laughs> but you know, if I do, then I can paint the trees. And I'm not sure how it'll, another thing that I don't know how it'll look is if that part of the canvas isn't painted, will it look right? Mm -hmm. But you know, if you look at paintings the way you really should look at paintings from a distance, um, then wouldn't know it wouldn't be painted. Yeah. So. And is this, is this making sense at mm -hmm. all? <laughs> and I can come in and cut in. I want some little more. My brush. I haven't used mineral spirits or anything on this. And I'm looking at the transition from one to the other, and I think I'll put a little more um, pink down into this because I don't want it to just go um, pink to bright orange. And Kind of going thicker than you usually do. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty thick. You're Be not blending at all. Yeah. No, I'm trying to. It's it's kind of like Aaron, mm -hmm. where I'm just trying to to lay in where I see that color, mm -hmm. and that again to me is how. See, that's too still too bright. Um, if I'm in a hurry, and I just if I want to capture something, um, you know, I mean, I could even scumble which is really kind of fun. But if I want to scumble and then I want to use the to subtractive method, I don't have, I don't know that there would be enough paint there to, uh, mm -hmm. to lift. Mm -hmm. So um, that's one reason why I thought, well, I'll, I'll do it heavier. And again, it's an experiment. Mm -hmm. Might not work. Um, we're going to have fun anyway. I want a little more intensity, so I'm going to pull that in. Just And another reason why I chose this size is if I'm plein air painting and I'm paint, painting a sky, especially at sunset or sunrise, it doesn't last long. If you don't capture it quickly, it's gone. And um, that's why most most paintings of skies I do from photographs. But I thought, well, if I fit, if, if I find a way that I can lay in a quick, you know, I can kind of anticipate what colors might be, and, and you can always make up some of the colors. Um, cause I've seen enough sunsets, but when you paint in Florida, do you have to use a certain size? Of did they just leave it up to you? Oh, I don't. There's no. I have not heard. Okay. Well, if you're gonna in the, if in the are you talking about the Your, the quick paint? Yes. Uh, I think there's a limit on how big. I haven't okay. heard how that there's a limit on how small. Okay. Good question. I'll have to look that up. Um, but um, my phone's not set for. Come on, turn back on. There we go. Um, I want to bring some of this real warmth way up in here. 
I probably didn't quite make enough of it, so make mix them up real quick. But if see if I kind of remembered what I used, mm -hmm. so I could just grab a little, grab a little, you know. So are you thinking you might do this for that quick draw? I don't know. Well, it won't be a, a sunset because it's yeah, from right. But know, I mean this method with the black. I might. Yeah. You know, but, but nobody else would. I don't know. And so they would, I bet they wouldn't. <laughs> you and know, to I, me, that would be a little bit of a standout because it's unique. Well, and, and that's like painting on aluminum. Mm -hmm. Or uh, the Rita Kirkman method, which is uh, painting on that golden, it's a surface you make yourself. It's out of, uh, you do a lot with acrylic and you paint a lot with sponges and then you do the last layer of, with pastel. Sounds That's pretty. what that little girl's done with. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's what that cat was right there is done with. Was the turtle, with. was it kind of that too? Didn't you use the metallic -y Oh, I, the metallic. but it was sim yeah, similar. Yeah, similar. Yeah, metallic mm -hmm. underneath. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I don't have any paint down here. And so again, I don't know if that's going to read right. It might, right now I'm not liking the look of that not being painted, so I think I'm going to just take the three darkest colors that I have on my palette, which is the alizarin purple and um, ultramarine, and I'm just going to fill in that with paint because I don't want the, uh, the black that I had on the um, canvas wasn't black enough. Plus, it doesn't have texture on it. Yeah. Yeah. I like the texture. Mm -hmm. So I'm I'm adding that because of those reasons. Yeah. I didn't know I would, but it just looks kind of funny. Yeah. 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 Compared to the rest. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what it was looking like to me too. Yeah. So I'm glad. You Almost know. had a chalkboard look. Yeah. Yeah. Like you had drawn on chalkboard. Mm -hmm. Kind of did, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that gesso board. Yeah. Yeah. But again, you know, I wanted a dark, so I just look at where the the three darkest colors are, and um, that'll give me close to a black. This would be a good palette knife thing too. Yeah. It? Okay, so I'm gonna drag some of that together just because I know some of the lines are gonna connect, and I'm gonna feather the back stuff. Be, I don't want to feather it so much that I pull the back in it, but I want that a soft edge. All right, so now I like that better. Mm -hmm. We'll see how the uh, rest of it goes. Now that's taped down, right? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Can you mm -hmm. flip it off? Okay. Okay, do y'all want to take a picture of it right there mm -hmm. at this point before I screw it up? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, send y'all take one and send it to me. Okay. But even that, mm -hmm, that's pretty. You know, there's something about yeah, on black. I know. Black does. It has a different yeah. effect. Yeah, it color. does. It does. I like it. So, and you know, you can make your own. You don't have to go to the store. That's right. Okay, so what I'm using you is it still it. filming? Oh, I can. There we go. Yeah, it is. Oh, there is a glare. There's a glare. I didn't think about that. There we go. Sorry about that. Okay. So the, um, now I have the image. You know, this is very even uh, abstract somewhat, um, but you know exactly what it is. I'm just gonna use this. I took her all the how long? <laughs> Ten minutes. minutes. Okay. Maybe fifteen. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna start down here, and I'm gonna drag. That's your wipeout tool. It's my wipeout tool. Okay. And I want to make sure that I don't uh, that I kind of do. Um, more straight lines in dragging than I do uh, curvy lines because trees read better. It's not it's not totally wiping it out, and it might. And again, again, we'll we'll see. No, it's not going to be dark enough. Darn it! Now you know. Now I know, mm -hmm. but we'll see. I'm going to wipe a lot a lot of this out. I'm going to come back with some dark paint where I've wiped it out. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's showing though. It's showing, but it's not It's not the contrast that it's I was hoping black. for. It's not black. It almost has a green look. It does. Mm. I wonder, um, do you think it's the tool? 
Do you have anything that's like a little bit sharper? This is pretty sharp. Hand me one of those white tipped ones that's more like silicone. One? Yeah. Well, it's pretty much the same. Mm -hmm. It's almost like the underpainting picked up some of the oil. Like well, it probably did. Now, one thing, um, it might, maybe if I did a gloss uh, yeah. underpainting, mm -hmm. um, yeah. that might be different. To block it, you mean? To block the black? Mm -hmm. To block the colors from going into the black? It'd be slicker. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, okay. But um, yeah, now these are getting really skinny or fatter than what I want. Okay, so now Could let's try something. Could you take a liner brush and do some? I not? will. Okay. Um, you can even. Yeah, see, that's not showing enough. Yeah. Darn. Yeah. All right, hold on. I'm going to get. Where's that little brush I was painting with? This is why you don't go into competition without trying it first, right? Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, really? Well, you do. I mean, you want to you want to do you something. There, you, you, know. you know, it's you, you really do want to do something unique in order to stand out. Mm -hmm. But uh yeah, that's why you don't go plein air painting if you've mm -hmm. never set up your mm -hmm. easel before. Yeah. <laughs> you, you want to you want to make sure that um that you know where things go and how things fit together. And what you need, what you don't need. This is one of the Andrew Tischler dagger brushes. I gotta order me some of that. But, you know, just by taking off the bulk of the paint that was where these branches are, it does allow me to um, put in this color right away. Right away. Mm -hmm. It's the other undercover, under other paints are too thick to be able to do that without drying. So looks better, I think. Oh, I do too. Yeah, I wouldn't have left it the other way. It's just it was too pale. But it, again, it's trying to and see. This was also th I was also thinking. Well, okay, this same method. Uh, for people walking on the beach, you know, you see silhouettes of people walking on the mm -hmm. beach, and and they're really dark. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you know, how can you get the sky painted quickly, and um, and not, you know, if if you can paint the sky without painting around things, it's a lot faster. Mm -hmm. Um. So that was my thinking in doing, you know, something like this to where, okay, well, if I can get the sky in quickly and then uh, add other things later, then it could be the silhouette of, of somebody with a dog or... Like you know, a man on the beach. Yeah, with the dog, yeah, along walking that. along the... Yeah. But something that you could capture quickly and get the essence of it mm -hmm. without agonizing over it and having to let it wait and dry. Mm -hmm. So. You have two hours to do that? Uh -huh. Is that right? Okay. And then we're going to watch her at the end do something or the, well, them make the, the announcements the, or something. The competition thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to come at yeah, the end. Yeah, we'll be there for that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, okay. Jan and I are. I can't yeah. speak for Hillary. Hillary's not coming. But we're going to get there in plenty of time to, right. to come check it out. And mm -hmm. what day are you all going down? Saturday. Saturday. You're going Saturday. Mm -hmm. And you're in a class on Friday? Yeah. I am, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm actually going up on Wednesday. Um, Denise Buff invited me to, she goes, well, you've never been there. You need to come up early mm -hmm. so we can, uh, so I can show you around. So we're going up Wednesday, and then she's going to kind of give me a, a little tour um, Does she have a place there? Mm -hmm. Oh, cool! It's a duplex. Mm -hmm. Her son was renting one one side of it, and he's just recently changed jobs, so um, that you know the other side will be available. Where is hers? Apalachicola. Okay. So. That's uh, a great town. Yeah, been there a long time ago to Apalachicola. I haven't been there in many years. Go to Cape Sambla. I love, I love it. 
I love that there. Yes. Now, one thing I do like about what's happening here is some of the trees are darker than others, and that's how it really is when it uh, when you're dealing with um, nature. Uh, the ones that are further away or thinner or in the in the light are um, are not as prominent. Are y'all can y'all mm -hmm. see that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I'm just, I'm barely letting it touch and just dragging it. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. And how long was that, 15 minutes? I didn't time. Uh, yeah, no, not even 15. 